Hi everybody, I'm Vanessa with Ronquita Design and today I'm going to give you an updated version on how to do a tailor's knot and also how to use a needle threader. So needle threaders are a little bit different. This particular one has two hooks, larger and smaller. We'll be using the smaller end today. Um, the other mo more popular type of needle threader has like a wire loop. It's very similar in how you use it. So first you would take the hook and we're going to stick it in the eye of the needle. You would do the same if you had the wire loop. You would stick the wire loop in the eye of the needle. So it just kind of hangs on like that. You want to kind of push it as close to the edge as possible because you want to leave this hook open. Then you would take your thread and you just drop the thread over that hook like this. Have a cut end kind of close to the edge here. And if you had the wire loop needle threader, you would stick the thread through the loop. Then now you pull it through. You kind of have to wiggle it a little bit. Pull it through and then you can unhook it and then pull that cut edge through and now your needle has the thread on it, nice and easy. And to make the tailor's knot, this is a technique I've been teaching kids for a long time and also adults, it's a little, little uh, silly as far as how we're gonna do it, but this is a great way to learn. So when we're starting, we're gonna go ahead and do a tailor's knot with both ends tied so that way this is great for beginners so your thread doesn't come off. So we're gonna start with the needle in your non-dominant hand and your cut tails, have them even in your dominant hand. So we're gonna pretend this is a snake and he's getting cold. So we're gonna grab the snake's head, which is the tip of your needle, it's his face. And this is his tail. And we're going to wrap him around so he curls up. I'm gonna trim this, it's a little less curly. And we're going to wrap him around and the tail of the snake is going to sit on top of his head like this. And I'm just going to pinch it with my dominant hand. He's horizontal, so I'm going to now switch it to my non-dominant hand. And I'm going to still hold on to it, but you can see that the point of the needle is exposed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this edge, not this side, I'm going to take this edge here that's underneath my fingers, and I'm going to give him a scarf. I'm going to wrap it once, twice, three, four times and you can see he's got a little scarf on. Now I'm gonna turn it vertically, and I'm gonna kind of pull that little scarf between my fingers so I'm holding it. You can see I still have my loop, nothing's lost, and I'm gonna be holding it tight enough to not let it get lost, but also not so tight that I can't move, because now I'm going to push my needle up from the bottom. You can see it's able to move, and I'm still pinching that scarf. Then I'm gonna wiggle my needle out, Pulling it up, still holding onto that scarf. And now the scarf is at the end of my thread, making your tailor's knot. Okay, so that's how you make a tailor's knot, and that's also how you use a needle threader. I hope you enjoyed this video.